Oh my god. It's happening. Hey, hey, welcome back to 7 Days to Die the Hunt. Uh, today may very well be the last episode of the season because uh, I am going to be staying here, I guess. And they're going to be coming at some point. I don't really know. Subscribe if you're new here. Turn on the notification icon. Be notified whenever another video goes live, including the hunt series, of course. Horde, pretty much. I killed like probably like 10, maybe 15 zombies right here last night. Nothing crazy. They just kind of lined up. I sprayed them down. No problems whatsoever. So there's really no point in showing it. Nor did I record it. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Boop. Excuse me? Hello? that help there we go jesus they should be headed this way sooner rather than later so mm, i don't really know what i'm gonna do i don't want to just sit here like i did last episode but like i want them to approach you know and try to take me out and i want to be here for when that happens because i want to be part of the war you know so I don't really know what to anticipate. Part of me almost wants to, like, stalk them. Like, watch them go to the first sign and then, like, skedaddle with them down the edge. But I feel like they'll see me. And then also part of me wants to go loot a little bit more. But, like, what else do I really need? Like, I feel like we have just about everything we could possibly require. So, really, what else is there to do besides wait for them? Oh, God. Apparently fall into this hole and create a situation for myself. Let's try not to do that when we uh, escape, if they do chase us. I was also discussing with them yesterday that uh, if they died, I mean, there's really no more loot left on the map. So, if I kill them, we're chalking it up as a win for me. And if they kill me, we're chalking up it as a win for them. So this is kind of like, this is where it, this is, this could be the finale. I mean, it could go a couple of days. Who knows? We could fight each other. Or I could only kill one of them. They could kill me. I don't really know. Um, but they're going to be hunting me down. And for the next season, part of me almost wants to do procedural and do the, the same friends again, them two versus me. Uh, just for like kind of a rematch to see how this goes as I slowly start to communicate with uh, other seven days that I youtubers it's becoming increasingly more difficult to figure out a schedule uh, that works for everybody so and I don't want to have a huge gap between seasons because you guys are loving this so I don't know maybe I could go find maybe I could get a duo partner I could do that I could always try to maybe find a duo partner and then 2v2. I really wanted to do like four teams of two. I feel like that'd be really fun. But I think we need to just get a little bit more traction under the series first. But procedural, a procedural run through would actually be pretty cool, in my opinion. Because you wouldn't actually know where you are. And you would randomly come across people. Because, you know, procedural. But as for today, like I said, I don't really know. I don't think I can buy another trap i'm pretty sure the traps are 3500 do we have anything in our bike we can sell because we like we could roll up to the trader and maybe buy the shotgun trap if we consolidate and sell enough things i could Ooh, i could also let's get onto the roof and like we said last time let's make some landmines so they're they're approaching for sure they know exactly where i am i've told them several times to follow the signs over in deersville so that's what they're going to do. Um, Carly will hopefully splice in a little bit of what they're doing. And when they reach the signs and stuff, and maybe a little bit of their behind the scenes. Little busy! Got it. How do I feel like? I just have a bad feeling. Hear me out now. We're gonna get to Deersville. He's gonna be camping the first line. Bro, oh my god. I saw a piece of wood over a hill and it was like glitching and it was it had like a T, so I thought it was him with the rifle. Bro, holy. Let's see, we need nails. So let's do a whole bunch of nails. And then what else do we need for the mines? Duct tape. And I think the duct tape is in 
the mini bike. There we go. And then 10 landmines. We can make five of them. That's pretty good. And then what we'll do is we'll kind of scatter them. I want to put some out in the grass, like right out by the sign, maybe. And then maybe like two or three in here. Maybe like one when they round this corner and then just like hit it on accident. I personally won't be coming back in here again. So I'm just going to take the outside route. That's a really good one right there. They're going to see that one, though. Oh, I don't have any wood. Do we have anything in here we can hit for wood? Are you going to give me wood? No. Let's hit a tree real quick. I need to move quick, though, because if they're going to come here, I want to make sure that I'm not just getting shot before any of my traps fall into play. I'm going to upgrade that frame just so it kind of blocks the landmine. And they come in and they don't just see it right away. There we go. Just kind of an additional. Maybe we'll hit them with that one if they jump over that thing right there. And I'm thinking like one right here. And maybe one like right there. And this is going to be... I mean, I don't know if I really want to position myself up here. I almost want to position myself on the car place. Just because, like, there's no walls or anything here to hide behind. And this is more of my laid trap. So I think I'm going to leave this roof and go to the car place. And the car place has no... Nothing that they can... There's no hills that really look over the car place. So it's a really nice and strong location. I got my mini bike set up. I guess the only problem with the car place is that they can build over here. So they could build up onto this and like shotgun me or whatever their plan is. You know what I mean? Over there, I would be able to be safe up top because it's building blocked. All right, now it's just kind of uh, a sit and wait scenario. Like I said, I could see if I could sell enough things to get enough for the shotgun trap. But as for right now, I told them I was going to be here and I don't want to leave this location. So. Why did it just get like cloudy and dark all of a sudden? Oh God. Foreshadowing perchance. And I'm completely unsure if they're coming from anywhere. I bet they're going to come on the road. I told them exactly where I was, but I told them to follow the signs to find me. So maybe they don't know I'm still here. Let's see if they follow the signs. This may take a while. I've been I've been in these few buildings for so long, man. For so long. Just waiting for them to make a play. And I wonder if procedural will be a little bit more interactive with killing each other. Or at least fighting each other. Because there's such... I mean, I wouldn't... I think there's more... Is there more buildings? I'm almost certain there's more buildings on Nav's game. And more room. There's a lot of just blank, empty space on procedural maps. So if you just stick to the roads, I guarantee you'll come across people pretty often. But yeah, now we just wait. See until they, they find our signs in Deersville, which is what the hint I gave them. To hopefully follow the signs down the road. We have a landmine there landmine there smg trap set to shoot them on the third sign and when it opens fire so will i so probably what i'm gonna do is just do this right here i don't think there's really any way i mean i would see them before they got over here they would hit my electric trap up there they can't build here so they can't build up they'd have to go in through the ladder so I'm confident they won't be able to do anything to the SMG turret, even if they discover it. And if they do discover it, I'll see them discovering it, and then I'll shoot them. So, you know, I think it's a fair fight. I got an SMG turret in myself, and he's got Christian and Boomer. There's two of them and two of me. I mean, I guess there's a chance they come from the north. This is the edge of the world here. They could come from the south and then cut left towards Deersville and accidentally come across my stuff. Which I think this is why this is the best position here. They won't see me if they come from that way. But I'll see them if they come from this way. 
And there's a very low chance that they're going to come from the north because this is like a weird... They'd have to they'd take this road into Deersville, find my sign, which is right here. This is the first sign right here. And then I have a second sign just about right here. And then a third sign on the trap. Um, if they come from this way, which is, like I said, highly improbable, I'll at least see them. And then they'll head towards Deersville because that's where I told the hints were. And then they'll see this anyway. And they would probably see my SMG turret, which is bad. Because I uh, don't want them to see that. That's why I hit it behind the lightning bolt. They come from this way and come down. It's a very similar situation. But if they come from Deersville, they're going to walk right into what I want them to walk into. Which is a big giant spread of bullets in their face. I am literally out of food. We have food in the bike. I could just eat honey. I got plenty of this. And it gives me eight food, so I might as well. That's what happens when you just sit still for too long. You're not looting and you're not exploring. You're going to run out of food. Oh, I could actually sell this hunting rifle. How much does it sell for fully repaired? And do I have time? 430. Ooh, I could get that shotgun trap. I very easily could get that shotgun trap. Hmm. Would I be able to set up the shotgun trap in the store? I don't know if I have time for that. Like I said, I, I said I would be here and I want to be here when they arrive. But like, I think I can afford the shotgun trap now. Quite literally. So, hmm, this is a situation. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do I just... Do I stay? Do I go? I don't know. Hmm. I might go do that. Gosh. I don't want to leave my location, but... A shotgun trap would really add to this. So I'm going to do it. Let's go up. To, oh, unless it reset. It might have reset day 15. But I bet there's still a chance that there will be a trap at the Snow Trader. Let's make a quick run. If they do come here, well, I have an excuse as to why I wasn't here when they got here. And it was because I went to the Trader real quick. I should probably purchase a little bit of food, too, in case this really goes on for a while. They could literally just camp me up there and wait for me to have to come down. And if they do that, I'm going to make sure... I need to make sure I have enough sustenance. Hello, Mr. Snow Trader. I wish I had a... Do I have a mod I can put on it? I don't think I do. I'd like to have a mod I can put on it. I think I sold my red dot, though. Um, Nope, not looking like it. I'm going to take those covert cats. And if we need to... Actually, if we need to sell these painkillers, I will. I don't know if we need to, though. I think it was only like 3600 for a shotgun trap or something like that. Well, look what the cat dragged in. You better have coin. 3700, we're at 3200. And then shotgun auto turret. Boom. Well, All right, so we got another trap, which I think I'm going to set up if I can. Hmm, I don't even know if I can. With the current way I have the base built. I don't even know if I'll be able to set it up in the bottom floor. Also, the wattage. I don't know how much wattage that engine's currently running. I only have two engines inside of it. So, if it... Obviously, if it needs a little bit more power, we're kind of SOL. But, uh, I'd like to put it in the lobby of the electronics store. I think that's a good location for it. Question? Recog allowed? I mean, yeah, right? What is it? It's 50% damage, isn't it? I mean, sure. I mean, Fort Bites just counteracts that because it gives you 50% less damage while Recog gives you 50% more damage. So technically, if you have Fort Bites, you're, you're fully capable of counteracting what Recog does. So, because I'm popping, I'm popping a lot of stuff when they start fighting me. I'm popping Mega Crush, I'm popping Fort Bites, I'm popping Recog. I might even pop a steroid, to be honest with you. I gotta get this all ready on my hotbar. Need to make sure I have water. Actually, Mega does Mega Crush give you water? That's kind of OP. So, like, I could just take all of these different boosters. And then just drink a Mega Crush and pretty much solve it all. Because that's it just dehydrates you. 
I see a sign, Christian. I see a sign. Is it outside the city? Going yeah, east? yeah, it's out, it's out here over here. East. Okay. Where you at? Coming towards you. I'm coming down the main road. Oh, that's the airdrop. That's far. Yeah, it's Why does this go oh, real far away? Why is that so far away? He must be out there. He has to be out there then, right? I don't know. I might put the shotgun turret off the backside here. Oh, wait. That airdrop's coming in. Up in the snow? That's a little weird. Hmm. Are they coming from the snow side? I see another one up ahead, too. Okay, Stay so away, frowny face. <laughs> frowny, angry face. Here we go. Target strangers. Keep your eyes peeled, brother. I'll yeah. peel like an onion. You didn't listen. <laughs> There's some buildings up ahead, Christian. Oh. There we go. Camera view, and we're going to point it kind of like that. So that way it watches this side and doesn't shotgun them. It just watches that kind of... I could maybe put it pointing backwards. Now that that airdrop came in in the snow, I'm kind of scared that they're going to come from that side. Do I set the shotgun trap to watch backwards is the question. Hmm. I'm scared. I don't know if I set the shotgun trap to go backwards or not. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking... He sees me. He's right there. He definitely sees me. I just saw him. Oh, God. I'm jumping down. I'm going on top of the car, place. Passing gas. Which I see. I see him. I see him. I see him. He... Where, where, where? Top of the left building. Top of the left building. Top of the left building, Christian. Top of the left building behind, 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 behind the lightning bolt. I see him. I see him. Yep. Oh my god. It's happening. Alright, I'm much safer up here. Taking recog, port bites, mega crush. Did he just see me? Or did I just see him? Yep, I see him. He's going by and passing gas. Going behind it? Yep, 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 yep. He got out. He was right behind that rock. Oh, God. I almost wish I stayed over there now because I. No, it's really just an exposed position. So it's a bad idea. I definitely just saw him, though. Out there. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Hurt one. Definitely hurt him. Oh my god, they're throwing mollies. Got one. They definitely tried. I almost want to bait Christian into the turret. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm stuck in here. No! What killed me? Christian? Did he get up? No! I'm pissed, man. I was gonna bait him into the turret. And Boomer was coming back. I shouldn't have baited him into the turret. I was just gonna... I could have just shot him. Christian! Did you, did you get on the roof? Get... No. Where did you shoot me from? Around the corner of the building. On Ooh. the ground? That stinks. Yeah, I was like right by I your jumped, bike around that corner. I jumped into the back to get out and dodge a little bit. And then I realized I was stuck inside a barbed wire freaking fenced in yeah. area. And Bro. literally all I could see was your head. So I was just oh, hitting headshots. What? You one tapped me both times. Oh yeah, straight Why up. Why do I keep getting one tap? Straight Woo! up. That saddens me. Go walk you over. You like my new motorcycle, uh, Boomer? Go walk over to the uh, the electronics store real quick. What the? F watch out! There's a cousin turn above you. Ow, what's <laughs> <a cheater? laughs> 
I was, I saw that out, out I like, was hoping that, that I would it. have you guys see me on the roof and then I, I would down. and then I would dip out the back and then you guys would approach the roof. I had the the ladder up to the top. There was landmines at the bottom. It was trip wired with zappy traps at the top. There's a shotgun turret Jeez. on the back and an SMG turret up top. See, my, the thought, the way we, <laughs> the way we planned that, we started today, going obviously you want us in Deersville. We took Deersville. My mm. first thought, since you mm. saw us on the hill mm. out there, or you saw Christian, whatever, mm. was you were going to be scoping out the first sign and then going from there and like following us with the signs behind us and then shooting us in the back or something. So Christian took the west, I took the east. I saw your the second sign right outside of Deersville. Who did I see as first I was coming, coming from? The le uh, was it west? From, from, uh, Christian, I think. West, Christian. okay. And then you came so, from see, the Christian, north. Christian was on your side. I was on the other side. And that's the reason I saw you. Came you. From the east. Uh, I saw you fall down and get on your bike and leave. Because I would have jumped down, I, got on my bike, went to the rooftop, and been perfectly fine. And my then master plan you guys would have chased me on top of the building, <laughs> and then that's my it. My master plan worked. If I'm sad that my turrets never bike, actually got action. I should have just. I, I should have just stayed in the electronics store and made you guys approach me. I would have oh, never wait. seen you leave if I didn't hear you get on the bike. I would have never looked for that. I heard. I heard you get on the bike. Well, I mean, it makes sense because the bike would have yeah. made noise regardless. Exactly. So. Huh. And then I saw you go right and I tried to cut you off. And then as I was throwing mollies to the roof, that was I me got that one popped, hit acquitted. You popped me in the front. I definitely hit you a few times. Oh, yeah. I was at 25 health and I used the uh, first aid kit. Yeah. I'm so pissed. I should have just chased. Yeah, probably. And I didn't <laughs> even have time to react. I literally, a zombie jumped up, punched me, and then I died instantly. I was like, um, did I get shot or was that the <laughs> zombie? Uh, were zombies hitting you at the same time <sighs> I was shooting you? No, it was just like there's a couple zombies back there that woke up and one of them was like jumping on a block and it seemed like he was punching at me or punched me and then I just died. Oh my god! Look at the back room! Easy! Yeah, the back room's rigged up. There's a couple landmines in the front room. There's a shotgun trap and an SMG you trap. Definitely should have tried to lure us roof. inside if you had it. Well, I was like trying that. to lure you guys over there. I didn't know Boomer was going to be flanking on the other side watching me escape out the back. All right, well, I, I got up your what's it called trap? Your what's it called traps didn't work. Your electrical trap. It didn't work? No, I didn't got it. Didn't have up. enough power? Did the SMG no, 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 turret I, shoot? I, you? I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm on your roof right now. Well, the, it, I mean, it shoots down off of the roof. It's not shooting at the roof. Well, yeah, I went around. I went to the right. I went around it. Right. Right. But I I came up the ladder. No, uh, no, what's called with it? You didn't I, get electrical? I have to say, no. What the heck? I'm, 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 I'm on the roof right now. Wait, what didn't you spawn here? You not have a bed here? No. Why would I have a bed? I'm die. I lose. That's true. <laughs> true. So where were your bases? My only base Obviously was the snow. snow. My only base really? was the snow. I was gonna have okay. a second base in like one of the desert towns, and then I had this cave in the desert, but I broke one block and it collapsed in on me. So. Oof. Was yeah. that the oopsie from the other day? Yeah. <laughs> when you all, when you're like, yeah. oh, no. oh no. I was I'm trying to rig it up so you guys would have to just come in there, and I would just mow you down with turrets. That God. was the plan. And then it collapsed on me. And I was like, okay, well, I need a couple of days until I tell you where I am. Again, wow. after all, as fun as this was, again, that, that the ending, again, I got shafted. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even oh, I bullet. cracked you. I cracked you hard. Bro, there I was, was hoping really that I would do. throw a molly up there and I would catch you. They were hitting molly, close. You know? They were hitting perfect. I know they were. They were landing I know they on were. the roof. I just needed There's that no one problem. last one. I just needed that one last one. <sighs> I'm sad. Get wrecked. I'm the best hunter to ever live. I guess so. We're just going to have to rematch, I guess. Woo! Oh.